Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and today we're going to see how to create your own faucet on Polygon network. So we are using Polygon Mumbai. So if you, anyone of you don't know what faucet is, so whenever you are working with test networks, you need some test funds, right? To make transactions or to send crypto to some other wallet for some testing purposes or to interact with smart contracts. So there are some faucet sites that allow you to get free test tokens and uh, if you have a lot of tokens, you can just create a faucet out of it. So in this episode, we are going to see how to create your own faucet using all of your uh, test matic you have. So first of all, you are going to need an RPC provider to make a transaction for the faucet. So if you want to send funds to your users, you will need an RPC provider. You can use the default providers by Polygon, but sometimes they are offline and uh, most of the time those are rate limited. So it will cause a lot of trouble. So it's better that you create your own custom RPC. So we will be using Alchemy in this tutorial. Link is in the description if you want to create an account. So you can just go ahead and log in and you can lo either log in with Google or you have email password fields. So I'll quickly log in and I'll meet you in the dashboard page. Now that we are in our Alchemy dashboard, we can go ahead and create a new app by clicking the create app button and now we can just name it we are going to call it yt faucet and description will be test faucet i guess and the chain will be polygon and the network will be polygon mumbai because faucets are made on test nets so yeah let's click on create app and now we will go to yt faucet and then we will click on view key so this key will be pretty important for us especially the https one because this is the rpc url and we will be using this to connect with polygon mumbai and send the funds also one big question is uh, how do you get test funds like if you want to create a faucet you will need test funds right so you can just go to get testmatic here and this is the Mumbai faucet from Alchemy and you can get 0.5 Matic per day. So uh, yeah, that's testnet Matic. Uh, you can get the, those for testing. But if you really, really want to make a large scale faucet, you might need to mine on the Polygon Mumbai network. I don't have much information on it, but you can just search it on Google. But yeah, uh, this faucet will might help you when you are developing something on chain so if you are developing a smart contract or if you want to develop an nft project this faucet might come a lot handier to you so let's get back to alchemy we are going to copy this https uh, url and now let's go ahead and create our next.js application so here we are in our terminal now we are going to say npx create next app and we are going to say yt faucet polygon and we'll press enter and depending on your system this might take some time so uh, it won't take a lot of time up to five minutes but uh, max five minutes it's very fast as you can see it's already about to be over so let's wait for this yeah perfect now it's done now let's go into the directory we say yt faucet polygon and now we are going to install a package called ethers. So we are going to say yarn add ethers. We are using yarn because create next tab has changed to yarn and it def uses yarn by default. So it's better to use just yarn. So now we are going to say code dot to open visual studio code. Here's a VS code. Let's get it to full screen. Perfect. Now we are going to create a new file here in the root and we will have two environment variables here so dot env and now we are going to have two fields here so first of all alchemy url and this should be the url you just copied from the alchemy dashboard and next should be the wallet private key so make sure that this key is very private and you don't share this key to any with anyone and because anyone with this key can access all of your funds and transfer them as they wish so i won't be showing my private key here but i will be entering this here so how do you get your private key exactly let's go back to our browser and let's head to metamask as you can see i have 60 matting in this and this wallet so what i can do is i can click here i can click on account details and then i can click on export private key now you need to enter your metamask password and it will just show you your key 
it's that simple and you just copy that key and you paste it in here so like this so yeah uh, I'll be doing that and I'll be switching files and I'll be back okay so I have updated my .env file I won't be opening it because it contains my wallet private key so yeah now what we need to do is we need to create a new file here in API so instead of hello.js we'll just rename this to getmatic.js perfect and basically this is an URL route which will help us uh, transfer the matic because we don't do that in the front end side because anyone can just get a private key and do whatever they want with it so we want to keep this in an API route so that nobody can access this so instead of a standard function we are going to convert this to an asynchronous function perfect and whenever you see an asynchronous function the best practice is always to try i uh, use i will try to use try catch i stumbled there very bad so yeah <laughs> so we will say console dot error error and this is the catch block so if anything goes wrong it directly executes this and then we are going to see say rest dot status 500 which means internal server error and we are going to pass in a json as a response and we are going to say message is internal server error yeah it's that easy now we need to get rid of this we don't need this and now we need to import ethers so let's do that import ethers from ethers perfect and now we need to set up our wallet so how do we do that uh, let's do that here so const wallet is equal to new ethers dot wallet and this is an, has an object um, no this doesn't have an object hold on um, if you s uh, if you open the bracket again you will see what it really needs the first field is private key so it is it is process dot env dot wallet private key it just picks up from environment variables and the next field is a provider so here we are going to use a custom rpc provider so we are going to say ethers dot get default provider and we are going to have the rpc url here so we are going to say process dot env dot lkm url I hope that I have named this correct. Let's save this file. Well, I have named this correct, but I haven't named the file correct. So it should be not dot env. It should be dot env dot local. If uh, if it's dot env or it's if, if it's just dot env, you might be using like next uh, just standard Node.js, but Next.js uses dot env dot local. So yeah. That was a mistake on my part. So, uh, yeah. so so we have a wallet set up. Now we can just send transactions using that. So now we are going to get the user's wallet address here. So as an input. So let's do that. First of all, we'll check if the request is post request or not, because we are going to have the wallet address from the body of the request. So we are going to say if if request dot method is not equal to post then we are going to say return response dot status 400 and we are going to pass in a json with a message of please use a post request perfect and now we are going to get the wallet address so now we are going to say const wallet address is equal to request dot body dot address perfect and now we are going to send a transaction now let's see how easy it is so we are going to say const txn which stand for transaction and you're going to say await because it's an asynchronous function and we are going to say wallet dot send transaction and he, this is an object and it has a two field which is the wallet address and we have a value so how much amount do you want to send so we are going to s uh, we, we cannot just provide a direct amount it's like uh, we need to use some utilities to convert the value so we are going to say ethers dot utils 
dot parse ether and now here we are going to say 0.1 because we are going to send 0.1 matic to whoever request from the faucet so yeah let's save this now let's just console log the transaction if something goes wrong we can just see so perfect and then we are going to just going to say response dot json and we are going to say message transaction initiated successfully now you can do a lot of different things here for example implement uh, a feature where it checks if wallet address is really a wallet address or just a random string you can do that but this video does not focus on that so we won't be doing that and we will be just focusing on creating the basic faucet but if you want me to if you want me to make a video on uh, like checking the user responses or something you can just uh, tell me in the comment section and uh, what specific details you want and i'll just make a video on that so yeah uh, we are done with the api hopefully now uh, let's go to our index.js file so now we have a, a plenty of different things here so uh, we have a index.js first of all we don't need any of the main till footer because we are going to have our own thing here so now it's a very s simple layout so now let's uh, first of all let's create a new state there are a lot of things at once so it, yeah so const address what it uh, set address is equal to use state which will be blank initially perfect and now we are going to say div and this will have a basic styling so let's add the style i will be copying those styles we won't be wasting a lot of time on the styling it's a very minimal styling so i'll just paste this here you can just pause the video and copy this if you want to and inside the div we are going to have an input box so we are going to say input type text and here we are going to have the value as address on change we are going to have a function with a parameter of e which will do set address e dot target dot value and we are going to also have a placeholder which says enter your wallet address perfect and then we need to have a button so let's say button on click get funds the function we haven't yet made this function but we are going to make it right now so let's say get test matic let's save this and let's create the function so get funds is the name let's create the function right here so const get funds is equal to asynchronous function and uh, right where asynchronous comes we use try catch error so we are doing going to do console dot error and we are going to just display out the error and then we are going to say alert something went wrong perfect and now we are going to create a fetch request to our backend in the try block so let's do that const response is equal to await fetch and we are going to say slash api slash get matic and then we are going to some passed in some configuration so the method of the request should be post as we have defined in the backend then we are going to have a body which is the content of the request so here we are going to have json dot stringify because we need to pass in a json and the only thing we need in json is the address wallet address so we are going to just send it like this and then we need to pass in a header so that we tell the backend that hey this is some json data so we are going to say content type application json perfect and now we are going to check if the response went i mean the request went through or not so to do that we are going to say if the request didn't went through so if response dot okay if it is false then we are going to say return alert and we are going to say something went wrong 
but if it's not the case that means the request was successful and we got a response of 200 which means that response was successful now if that's the case we are just going to say alert and we are going to say transaction initiated successfully perfect and yeah that's it i guess now let's go ahead in our in our terminal and let's file this app up so we are just going to say yarn dev perfect now i hope the server is started now let's go to our browser here is our browser now we are going to see localhost 3000 perfect uh, enter your wallet address now let's go to metamask and choose the other wallet so we have 60 matic in this one we are going to choose the one with 39 matic 39.999 matic so if this increases you know that our faucet is working so let's paste in the address and let's click on get test matic and let's see what happens it should probably tell us that transaction it initiated successfully now it might take some time to go through so let's check our metamask if it's there already no it's not so let's keep checking on it might be there anytime so yeah now it's 40 matic and if you check the previous matic it's 59.9 matic so 0.1 matic has been detected so yeah this is how you can use transactions and uh, the one main thing which has been useful here is alchemy's rpc because most of the time public rpcs are very slow or they are rate limited and you can't do much with them so yeah this is how you can create your own faucets and uh, i don't think that's the most ideal thing to do if you just want test funds for your next project you can just use alchemy's faucet but yeah if you want to make it anyways this is how you can do this so yeah that is it for this video if you need a link to alchemy you can use the link in the description and if you want to see something specific from me like web3 or something like from web2 like stripe or if you just want to stick to web3 and want to learn how to develop smart contracts you can just leave the suggestion in the comments below and i'll consider making that tutorial if you liked the video if you found this valuable make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button we are at 800 subscribers and i would really appreciate if we reach 1000 subscribers in the next two months that's my aim so yeah that is it from me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye